Hey everybody, it's Jim with Triple J Bricks. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna look at kind of just some of the work I've been doing on our new storage system. And I'm just here to tell you that I think, I think I'm all in. I just wanted to show you all sort of the process of what I've been doing here and oh just kind of how the flow has been going so as you saw from the thumbnail now that so many of these are full I feel a lot better about it and I've decided yeah I'm going all in on it all in on this method now some of this I haven't finished yet so I haven't gotten to these yet I'm, I'm getting close to it or like the technic or the cones and stuff so those haven't been filled but everything else has been filled and including like the brick and all of the plate and once it's sort of like filled like this it really feels a lot better like i started doing this last night and it just really really started to feel better once I could see a lot easier what I had in here right so there's still some things like this I just don't have a ton of these parts but if I'm sitting over the drawer I don't you know I, I know generally where it is and I'm just gonna have to sort of learn where all of this is and some of these might you know move around i can always move pieces around this isn't necessarily like the finalized version but i'm pretty happy with how it's going and it feels really great to start taking all of the light bluish gray and putting them in their own spot so basically what i've been doing and i just kind of wanted to film just in progress what i've been doing so right now I am working on one by six light bluish gray tile. I just finished the eights. So basically all I'm doing is I'm taking my one by six drawer that is in my tile drawer and I'm just dumping it out, sifting out all of the light bluish gray tile, putting what fits in there. I'm leaving myself a little bit of room so that, you know, I don't have to immediately toss it into the overflow storage. I can toss a couple things in there. I don't want to overflow them. And then whatever's left, what doesn't fit in there is getting bagged up. So these are the one by eights that I ran out of room for. And then here's the corner plates and corner brick. And how that's working is all of that is getting stored in this third. All overflow of the light bluish gray is getting stored in this third bin here. So everything on the side is getting labeled three, one by eight. So that I know, just like I was doing my old system, it, it pretty much the same um, as I had been. I have another video on kind of more of this, I guess this is sort of another one, but the only downside of this is I love that I can access these drawers from the side or these storage containers uh, from the side. Um, but once you start throwing bags in there, it gets kind of unruly pretty quickly. So I'm gonna have to do a little sifting around in there to find the bag that I need, but I also don't anticipate um, you know, having to go in here too often. I say that, but then I probably will. The other thing is if I go into one of these slots and I see that, you know, for example, let's say I know I'm gonna need a whole whack of one by eight light bluish gray tiles. And I open up the drawer and I see that the drawer is full. I'm gonna look on the side of this and go, do I have more of these? Great. So then I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna pull uh, this bag out and see how much more I have of it and then I'm just going to start using it from here first or I'll pull this bag out and go "Ooh, you know what this plus this I'm not going to have enough and I think 
to me, that is a much more fluid system than me having to dump out an entire bin. I mean, it's honestly, it's maybe a little bit faster, but it is cleaner in my opinion. It does allow me to, I don't know, not have to dump out whole bins, I guess, which is kind of nice, especially if I'm like working on something and I don't want to make more of a mess because I have been in a position where I've dumped out several containers of stuff to find the specific parts that I'm looking for. The other thing that this is allowing me to do is to pull any light gray, old light gray and old, I'm also pulling old dark gray when I see it, uh, and then filling it with the bin here of all of my old gray parts. And that's actually been great. I've tried to, over the years, over the years, uh, I've been trying to over, you know, the course of going through things and pulling parts for old sets. I've been trying to pull out as much of the old gray as possible, but I've missed quite a bit of it. And because I have to go find all of these light bluish gray parts anyway, I'm, I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone here by doing it that way. So it's a little bit of a process. I'm finding it very satisfying. I'm sure uh, some of you are screaming internally like, oh my gosh, this is so much time. And it really is. It is a lot of time, but I also enjoy it. Like I'm having a lot of fun with this. So <laughs> it might not be fun for all of you. It might not be super interesting, but I'm really, really enjoying it. So and I think when it's all said and done, it's going to be really, really nice. The last thing I want to point out is I have a bunch of pieces here in the back that do not have drawers. Uh, they were extra parts that I've been finding that I don't have room for. Now, I do have some space in here yet, so I'll probably end up just filling a few bins with those sort of extra pieces. Uh, I don't, and it's possible that I'll shift some of them around so that they maybe are next to sort of like parts. Um, but I haven't really thought too much about that yet. So uh, that's the only thing. The other, the other thing I can do is, you know, I don't know if I want to get in the habit of just sort of throwing additional parts back there. But like, for example, this is the only circle plate with that large hole in it that I have. I only have two of these one by eights with holes in it. I only have one of those. I only have like four of those panels, one of those. I only have one of those. And then I only have one of these. It's like a circle brick with like a Technic pin hole in it. So, yeah, I don't... Maybe I'll just sort of have like a misfits thing where all those parts go. But in reality, what would be nice is to have those one by eights next to the one by sixes. So I could move these out. Uh, then it's shifting everything around. You know, it's just, it's, it's never, it's never going to be perfect, but I'll, I'll think about more about what to do with that stuff. Um, in the future, but I'm really liking how this is looking and I think it's going to make a great template for when I start the next color, which is going to be, um, dark bluish gray. And I think it'll really create a good template and it'll speed up, uh, the next step because again, kind of doing this once I think is going to help me copy and paste a little bit of this system for the next color and it should make it a little bit quicker. All right, everybody, I just wanted to give you that little update on how it's been going because I have recorded this before that first video is going to come out. So I haven't gotten a chance to, you know, look at any of the comments or any of that stuff yet, but I think, I think it's going to be really good, but I, I, I felt like leaving that last video that I had a lot of questions 
and concerns about this method. And, uh, yeah. So I, I think after I started to put all these parts in, I kind of want to do this follow-up video because it really is starting to feel very, very good. And I'm very happy about it. And I'm just deciding to go all in. And if it doesn't end up working, which I don't know why it wouldn't. I just, for some reason, I feel like there's going to be this roadblock that happens. Um, you know, if that ends up happening, that is just what it is. But I'm enjoying the process and I think it'll help make me a better organizer and it'll help me sort my Lego collection in general as we go. So everybody, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. But remember, until then, Keep on building. Jim, out.